Hello everyone. Here we have the science fusion book of grade 3 and we are opening in page 116 under the title Staying Alive. So here I will read the text and we will look some of the terms here that we need to know. Uh, let me start reading first. Life in the wild isn't easy. Animals must survive in the environment where they live. Their adaptations help them stay alive. An adaptation, an adaptation is any trait that helps a living thing survive. Animals that are hunted for food are called prey. Animals that hunt prey are called predators. Predators and prey have adaptations that help them catch food or avoid being eaten. Animals have other kinds of adaptations too. So now, here we have three main terms that or words that we need to know. We have adaptation, we have the word prey, and we have the word predators. Okay, so now let's continue looking to these two pictures and let's read the text, what this text is saying about this picture. What animal is this? I believe all of you know what animal is this. It has flat teeth. You see, flat teeth. Flat teeth. Okay? The flat teeth allow it to grind grass. As we see, this animal is grinding grass. So let's go to the next picture here. And here we have a tiger. Alright, so let's read the text. The tiger eats animals such as wild boar and deer. The tiger's sharp teeth, sharp teeth, we can see here, sharp teeth help it help it tear meat. So basically, tigers they don't eat grass. That's why they don't have flat teeth like this one, but they have teeth sharp and pointy. Why? Because they need to tear meat. Okay, so now let's continue next to the next page to the other two pictures. Here we can see we have two different rabbits. I believe they live in two different areas. So that, let's see now, let's read the first uh, text about the first picture here. The Arctic here lives in snow and ice. So this rabbit lives in snow and ice. Less heat escapes from its small ears. We see it is saying in the text that this rabbit has small ears. Maybe we think that these ears are big or uh, huge, but compared to this one, these ears are small. Or compared to other rabbits, this rabbit has small ears. So let's continue. Less heat escapes from its small ears than from the larger ears of other hairs. Its small ears help it stay warm in the cold. So basically, we said that this animal lives in cold areas. What kind of areas? Basically, in the beginning of the text said Arctic. Okay, so he lives in snow and ice and has 
small hair, small ears. Why? Because he needs to be warm inside. He needs to be uh, hot. That's why the ears, the small ears, do not let heat escape from its body. Now, let's continue to the next picture. We see here a different uh, rabbit with much larger ears. So, what's the name of this rabbit? Jackrabbit. The jackrabbit lives in the, what is this? Desert. The jackrabbit lives in the desert and we know that the deserts are very, very hot. So, its long ears, long ears, contain many tiny blood vessels that help remove heat from its body. This helps the jackrabbit keep cool in the heat. So basically, these long uh, ears help this kind of rabbit that lives in desert to remove heat from its body and keep it cool while the weather in the desert is hot. So now, let's see here what we have down here. Here we have two questions about these two pictures. So let's see what this text is saying. A finch has a beak. Do you know what is a beak? I believe you do. Okay, so now we have here a keyword, beak. That it uses to crack seeds and nuts. An eagle uses its beak to tear meat for food. Which, which bird's beak is shown in photo 1? And also which, which uh, bird's beak is shown in photo 2? So basically, the question is asking in photo 1, what bird's beak is this? And in photo 2, what bird's or which bird's beak is this? So you have to write this one. I believe you did it.